Hey, what's up guys? It's Marquez from the MKBHD channel, back with a video for DroidDog.com and the DroidDog YouTube channel. Now, one of the most important things that comes out of May every year is Google I.O., and that actually yielded quite a few great things out of Google. Uh, and what we're going to take a look at today is the Google 3.0 Music Player. Now, I have my Droid Incredible 2 here with me. I've used this for a couple of days now, actually. And I'm bringing it up because I actually haven't been able to get it to work for a long time without crashing on the Droid Incredible 2, just noted. So I'm using my original Droid here, and interestingly enough, it does work with the highest frequency here on the original Motorola Droid. So when you get it from the Android market or you get the APK, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the user interface here. Now I already happen to have a lot of songs on my Droid already that didn't come from the Google Music service, so these are just things that I've gotten from downloading them. So I'll go ahead and uh, take a look through the interface with you right here. First of all, it is redesigned. It does match very well with Honeycomb, uh, the way it would look on a tablet. The interface and colors do match up very nicely. We'll go ahead and see, obviously there are a whole bunch of tabs, just like the YouTube player. If you remember the new YouTube player review I put on Droid Dog a while ago, it looks very similar to that with the ability to tap through categories. Also, when you have a, an artist, you can click on the artist and click on the album underneath that artist, that all makes sense. But you'll notice next to everything, there is a little drop-down arrow. These allow you to go through things like playing the song, or adding it to a playlist, or different things like that. And also being able to shop for the artist with Google Media, which will bring you to the browser. You can also view more about that artist, both in your collection, or uh, online if you feel uh, the need to. So we'll go ahead and go back to our artist view. Let's check a look at these albums. This is an album by Wolfgang Gartner, so of course there's one song in it. And again, with each song, they give you the ability to do different things. If I click on the drop down for an album, you can add it to a playlist. And go ahead and name and create a playlist, and it'll show up in your playlist section. But that's basically it. It's basically a redesigned version. I'll bring you to the Now Playing page, which is the last but not least uh, most important part. And you'll see you can drag in from the side to bring controls in and out of view. So if we want to shuffle it up, we can do that, and if we want to put it on repeat, we can do that as well. Uh, and we can make those go away just by dragging across. So if you do have album art, that will show up there. Otherwise, it's just generic name and artist album art. You can pan through the song and play at any point, etc. So this is really quite a, uh, a nice redesign. The way they've done it is to the blend in with Honeycomb and the way that all the applications they've introduced in these two days of Google I.O. match up eventually in Ice Cream Sandwich, of course. So look forward to the review of the Droid Incredible 2, which should be coming up here soon on Droid Dog. Thanks for watching this review of Google Music Player 3.0, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.